It's where the artistry of fashion, music, and hair collide. Welcome to the 2013 Classic Hair, Fashion, and Music Show. the curtains and ripping the runway with some of the most talented and famous musicians, hairstylists, and fashion designers. Plus, honoring those who have made the major contributions in those areas. Lights, cameras, and fashion. In and out of shops like revolving doors. I was always getting here, but after work I pimped gold. I was closed circuit, yo, my game was like a TV show. My lyrics like a poster, so watch how I flow. I was... I'm here with the barber, Keith Potter, and his wonderful haircut. Keith, could you tell us a little bit about your involvement in the show today? Well, um, I'm one of the founders of Classic Style. We've been up and running for about eight years. This is actually our eighth annual event. Uh, it started off, like, like Biggie said, it was all a dream. But eight years later, we're still dreaming, and we're looking forward to uh, bigger and better productions. Um, that's, that's the deal with Classic Style. The deal with uh, the Real Cut Above Barbershop is anything else is just an imitation. These are some of my... My guys right here, I like to start them from, from, the, from the bottom and work them all the way up to the top. Uh, you know, we try and keep them as classy and fresh as possible. Uh, I specialize in designs and, and, you know, networking. And that's what a big part of classic style has become, the networking. And uh, we make sure that we keep everybody in the fold. Nobody gets left out. And any fire that gets started, I'm, I'm the fireman of the situation. I'm going to put it out. So uh, you want to you deal with classic style. You're going to deal with straight professional people. If you're going to deal with the real cut above, you're going to deal with the best. Awesome. Well, that is very good to know. Awesome. What can we expect in today's show? Oh, we, we, we bring in fire. We bring in heat. Everybody's hot in the show. Uh, we're going to have some, some real creative people. Uh, we've got um, the real cut above hair designs and hair is my passion combination. Uh, they did great work. Uh, we're looking at... Um, Tanika gives life, and we're definitely looking forward to Terry Baptiste to, to set it off. Uh, we got a lot of people, D the Stylist, Miss Pizzazz Parlor from Cincinnati, Ohio. That's our first uh, outside source can. We're doing real big things, and we look, we're looking forward to the future. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations on all your success. Also, where can people contact you or reach you or find you? I'm all out there. It's uh, www.therealcutabove.com. Um, you can reach me on Instagram, Don Potter Pisky, Facebook, Don Potter Pisky. You can catch me on YouTube, Blessed Hands, The Real One, Pinterest, Don Potter Pisky, Tumblr, Don Potter, Don Potter Pisky's everywhere. Just put it like that. You can find me. If you're looking for me, you're going to catch me. We can Google it. Can Google All right. Thank you a lot, Mr. Potter, and you have some amazing work here. Thank you. Lovely, Prissy Stark. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement in today's show? Yeah, I'm actually the cover girl for Classic Style this year and also, also a promotional model. Awesome. Is this your first year working with Classic Style? Um, no, this is my second. I've done it three years, three years ago. Yep. Awesome. So what can we expect tonight from the show? You know what? This is going to be one of the best classic styles ever been. I think every year it gets better and better. So I think it's just going to be amazing. You just have to sit back and watch. Awesome. That's what I've been hearing tonight. What is your favorite part of the show? Um, I think I'm looking forward to Leah Rowe uh, performing. Her voice is amazing. So uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. I had a chance to chat with Leah Rowe and I'm, I heard her performance is very anticipated. So, well, thank you very much, Prissy. And where can we contact you or find you um, on the internet? Um, you can email me, if you want to, <laughs> at bakerlene at gmail.com, or you can follow me on Instagram at 2 underscore Prissy. Well, thank you very much, Prissy, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Classic Style 2013, I am St. James here with the lovely Miss Lisa James. How you doing, Lisa? I'm doing good. How are you? Absolutely. I'm great. I'm great. So uh, I want to recap the show a little bit. It was a great event, great event. Uh, tell the people a little bit about, you know, how you felt about your first time on the stage, how that went, and, uh, you know, what, what you got coming next? Well, first I was a little bit nervous, but then the nerves kind of kicked out of me. So got it right in and just 
walk. <laughs> Put it together, right? So, so what were the designers that you uh, that you actually modeled? Um, tonight, I uh, walked for um, twenty eight uh, twenty eight boutique. Mm -hmm. I also walked for uh, So Anxious, okay. uh, Kings. I'm sorry, uh, Marion County Kings, and I also walked for. Um, you did like four people, but that's all right. I know that is definitely okay. It's, it's because you are so in demand. You are so in demand. I totally understand. The French boutique. The French boutique. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Miss Lisa James is in demand. That's why she was modeling five different companies tonight. So, um, so, so tell the people a little bit. You know, it was your first time. Um, did you have a lot of fun? I did. I did. I had lots of fun. That's what's up. That's what's up. And, you know, you're looking forward to coming back next year, I know. Um, but what else is on the modeling or on the horizon for you in terms of modeling? Um, I've been doing some print work, so hopefully I go further with that and hopefully get some more, um, do some more fashion shows. That's what's up. So, look, I'm here, Classic Style 2013, sorry, um, the, the recap show with Miss Lisa James. Tell the people where they can find you on social media and we'll take them out of here. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, only one Lisa J, or you can find me on uh, Facebook, Lisa James. That's what's up. So look, the lovely Miss Lisa James, shout out to Taze, Classic Style 2013. I've been your host, St. James. Have a wonderful evening. I am here with the Classic Style Committee member, Misha. How are you doing tonight and how are you feeling about the event? Good. I think it went really well. We've had a great turnout for this year's show and it's been really exciting just to see all the different styles and especially the honorees and the different people that came to support them. Yeah. And the Classic Style Show has been going on for eight years, but this is your second year. What kind of growth have you seen? So this is my second year being involved as a committee member, but I've been to several other shows because my husband is actually one of the clients of one of the stylists. So that's kind of what brought me to it and seeing the progression and wanted to get involved and actually help them to contribute more to the community. Yeah. Um, this year you guys decided to do honorees. What brought that on? So just like I said, wanting to be more involved in the community, give back and say this is Classic Style's way to give appreciation to the other people in the industry with hair, fashion, and music and say that we really support Indianapolis stylists. And not only did we have honorees this year, but we also supported the Ian Smith Foundation, which is an organization for young men on the west side of Indianapolis, very close to where the start of Classic Style is, too. Yeah. What can we expect for next year? Oh, next year, it'll be bigger and better. We're working on trying to expand this year's growth. So just, again, wanting to capitalize the, the support of the community and make it something that will be longstanding. This venue is amazing. So were you guys going to have it at a different venue next year or the same spot? We're still working on it. So every year is something different. This is our first year here, absolutely. And once we check out the numbers and the space and see if we can grow, it's a possibility that we can be back here. Yeah. And did you guys choose um, the actual designers for the show? So we had support from the committee members and then also a young lady by the name of Nicole Freeman who's done other fashion shows. So it's very collaborative, just looking at different stylists and talent from the Indianapolis area. And how are you feeling just bringing everybody together like you did? It's amazing. Just again, looking at hair, music, and fashion, all the different styles that have come along with that. And then there's so many different stylists from the city and even some people just from Cincinnati and other places in the Midwest. So it's been great. And for just next year, if anybody wants to sponsor or get involved, how can they go about doing such? Definitely check out ClassicStyle06.com. It's the website that has this year's information and the contact information there for future events. Thank you so much, Misha. Thank you. I'm here with Nicole Freeman, fashion coordinator. Can you tell me a little bit about your role tonight in Classic Style? Um, in Classic Style tonight, we're just pretty much making sure all the models are beautiful, making sure that all the boutiques and the designers are actually satisfied with their looks. So just getting everybody together, giving you an exciting show. Okay, nice. I heard you was a stylist as well. Can you tell us a little bit about your style and what to expect? Yes, um, very edgy, very um, out there. Um, I'm definitely out of the box. Um, I style celebrities, so I definitely want to make sure that everybody stands out. So that is my my point. Awesome. That is that's a great style. Can you tell us a little bit about what your inspiration is or who inspires you? Yes. Um, 
pretty much the music industry. <laughs> music industry is not really about the fashion because, you know, everybody can wear fashion, but not only everybody can style themselves, you know. So it's really about the style, and that's what I like. Awesome, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Where can we contact you or look at your style or your um, your clothing? All right. If you go to www.mystylistic.com or Instagram, um, my underscore stylistic, um, you can find me on Facebook, pretty much everywhere. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing your work in the show tonight. Thank you very, very, very much. of Be Extravagant Productions. How do you feel about the show this year? Actually, I love it. Um, it was wonderful setup. Um, everybody looked at real nice. It was very much organized. I mean, this has like been like my fourth or fifth year participating in Classic Style, and this has been one of the best years so far, and I'm happy about my team. they like, we only had a week to practice, and they did very, very good. So. so you've seen a lot of growth since the first year? Oh, yes, yes, a whole lot. Just with everything, the production of it, just the layout of it, um, organization, it's, it's been a lot of growth. I, I will always be a part of it. And the name and location of your shop? Well, actually, I'm located in Houston, Texas right now. Um, it's the Innovation of Hair. I'm, like I said, I'm located in Houston. I just came here just for this. I was, I'm basically from Indiana, but I come for Classic Style because I've been supporting it for so long, you know. And how long have you been a hairstylist? Well, I'm 27 years old. I've been a hairstylist since I was 18, fresh out of high school, so uh, about 9 or 10 years. And what made you get into it? Mm, it was different. I knew as a stylist I can grow brands in different ways. Like I said, I, I'm a choreographer. I direct Big Extravagant. It's more like a, um, a non-for-profit organization where we, we, we work with a lot of low self-esteem people, um, kids, you know, we built charities. So the production of what we do is not just, you know, on the stage. You know, we do a lot of other things behind the scenes. So that's the reason why I kind of got into the stylist thing, because I knew I could be independent. And what are some of the pros and cons about being a hairstylist? Give us the rundown, the real deal. Well, <laughs> I guess it's really pretty much the people. You know, the people can be hard sometimes, but... I mean, I'm pretty much a people person. I like everybody, and I want everybody to be happy. So, And I'm a man, so I like women to look <laughs> good. <laughs> Any tips you can give um, about healthy hair to the women watching? Right now, I feel like everybody should be natural. You know, I think chemicals is kind of overrated, and we need to stick to what's actually coming out of our skin and body. So just the natural thing, work it out. And what can we expect from you in 2014? Um, well, like I said, I'm building Be Extravagant in more than one area. I'm doing some things in Houston. I'm doing some things in Dallas and um, Atlanta. I'm basically trying to spread my brand across more. I'm advertising. I advertise a lot. So I want to just be able to, you know, just market my brand and what I do a little bit further. So just be on the lookout for Be Extravagant and upcoming things. If anybody wants to get in contact with August Snow to get their hair done or a production, uh, you can reach me at www.iamaugustsnow.com or you can hit me on my Gmail at auguststyles at gmail.com or directly 317-918-5114. Thank you so much for this interview. You're welcome, sweetheart. You have a good day. You too. Music, fashion, and style. Let's get to know some of those who have been named the best of the best in their field. You cannot say anything about fashion in this city without bringing this woman's name up. Nothing. She represents professionalism, perfection, beauty, grace, style. She is most definitely a lady to look to and to look for and a lady to support in this city, the wonderful Nikki Blaine. I'm here tonight with Nikki Blaine's designer and honoree. Could you tell us a little bit about you being honored tonight in your style and how you've gotten to this point? Well, I would have to say it was a childhood 
passion of mine that I just kind of blossomed into, you know, what I was destined to be in life, I guess. But uh, tonight I'm showcasing with Terry Baptiste, who is also an honoree. Um, what you'll see is kind of like an a, a eclectic combination of what I offer. Um, I offer clothing for children, custom clothing for children, and then the special occasion red carpet treatment. You know, there, some things are a little more functional. You'll see like a coat um, that's pretty amazing. Everybody loves that coat. So from uh, children's wear to red carpet is what you'll see tonight. And it's kind of like what I do. Um, I call my style as glam chic. And it's glam chic because I love to use sequins and specialty fabrics that are more high-end, finer fabrics. And then chic because I always make sure that it's very functional, something that you can wear all the time. This is one of my pieces as well. So I'm all about having functionality in my garments. Awesome. I can dig it. Can you tell us a little bit about where your inspiration comes from or who inspires you? You know, I um, as I continue to design, I'm learning my inspiration has to come from various sources. So um, in the past, it's been primarily just the, the fabrics. I would go fabric shopping and would just have a slew of fabrics. But now I'm starting to look at the architecture of design and um, just different things and just looking at people, you know, different things are starting to inspire me. So it's really all across the board. Thank you very much, Nikki. And again, congratulations on being honored tonight. And we look forward to seeing your collection. We present this to you as a 2013 honoree for all the work you didn't put in for the city, all the work you didn't put in for the radio, all the work you didn't put in for artists, community, kids. Put your hands together for DJ Ready Rock, AKA Coach Red, 2013 honoree. Okay, I am here with one of the honorees for tonight, DJ Ready Rock. You are getting honored tonight. How does that make you feel? Amazing. I'm in awe. I'm in awe. I didn't know that many people recognize what I do. But I appreciate y'all. Thank you. I love classic style. I love being here. It's a great opportunity. And I love kicking it with my homie. What's happening, TJ? Good, all right. <laughs> um, what do you do to set yourself apart from other DJs? Study. Mm -hmm. I really take time to study. I feel like if you don't understand where you're trying to go and then understand that there's really levels to this, that you'd be lost. Like, you'd really be lost. You gotta understand what you're striving for. You gotta strive for greatness. And that's, I feel like that's what I do. I'm constantly studying new music. I'm constantly studying different clubs. I travel to see what they do in the different clubs, what the, the top-notch DJs is doing in the main crowds. And, you know, I bring it back to where I'm at, right in the Midwest. And when did you know you wanted to be a DJ? Uh, I've been a DJ for a minute. Big shout out to Kenny Kicks. That's my big cousin. That's my motivation. That's, you know what I mean, everything for me. So he's been a DJ for a long time, and I just wanted to follow in his footsteps. You've also been the house DJ on 106 and Park. What was that experience like for you? Ooh, it was turnt. <laughs> if I can use that expression, it was turnt. It was amazing. I, I, I had a lot of fun. Shout out to the BET staff, Mark Clayton and everybody out there. I had an amazing time. I went during the New Year's Eve, right, right around that time. So they was filming the New Year's Eve show. I got shouted out. I got to hang out with all the artists doing the New Year's Eve show. Came back, did my show, hung out for the T.I. show. It was amazing. I just love New York. Shout out to New York. Everybody in BK that rock with me. What up? Are you ever nervous before you DJ? Nah, nah. It, yeah, it's kind of too long. Right now, I mean, I'd be more energized about it. You know what I mean? Ready to do it. Like, hey, it's time to get on the stage. It's time to rock the crowd. I, I get a rush out of, you know what I mean, playing your favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of techniques do you use to invoke the crowd? You got to get personal with them. And you, you got to kind of have a commanding voice. You got to kind of let them know, like, all right, it's time to turn up. You got to put your drinks down. Get to the dance floor. If you don't got a drink, fill your cup up. It's time to party. The coach is in the building, baby. And you've been doing this for a long time. Any advice that you would give any up-and-coming DJ? Again, I say study. Like, there's no questions that you can't ask Google right now. So for no reason that you shouldn't have a lack of knowledge to be your reason why you're not to the top. If somebody else to the top, Google it. Find out how he got there. Find out what was his role and what was his path. And you might notice some of the similarities in what you do. And you just take it and you improvise on it and you capitalize on their faults and, you know what I mean, your rights should be at the top. That's for anything. Not just music, not just DJing. That's just life. If you capitalize on it and you study, you know where you're going, you're going to make it there. Coach told you. 
Also, you have a new mixtape coming out, Get Ready 5. What can people expect from that? Oh, you see that face? <laughs> Hey, it's get ready for a reason. If you ain't get, if you ain't ready yet, you better get ready. Get ready five. It's a classic. Grab it right now. It's on that pen. It's on MidwestMixtapes.com. It's soon to be on ReadyRock.com. I gotta update my site, but you know what I mean. Rock with me. ReadyRock.com at Coach Red on Twitter, Instagram, all those good pages. You can find that mixtape. Get ready five. And you can contact him on all of those social medias. Correct. All of them, at Coach Red, that's at C-O-A-C-H-R-E-D-D. Don't forget the double Ds. I don't. Well, it was definitely a pleasure interviewing my personal favorite DJ. Thank you so much. Even before he started doing natural hair, like he used to be the bomb at Freeze Curl. So, you know, <laughs> uh, believe it or not, anything he touches, you know, I've done several photo shoots and stuff with Terry. He is definitely multi-talented makeup style the whole nine so go ahead at this time we would like to honor terry baptiste so terry can you tell us a little bit about your involvement in tonight's show well tonight i'm an honoree they are uh, honoring my uh t contributions to the hair industry and i've been a stylist for over 15 years so over the duration of my career i've done every texture of hair um, from perms relaxers natural hair and evolving into a loctician where i just specialize in locks so today on the runway, I will show a presentation of my whole career in hair. Awesome. Well, the hair color that you do is amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration for hair colors, hairstyles, haircuts? Well, uh, my total hair inspiration is Vidal Sassoon. You know, I love cutting hair. So here's my total inspiration when it comes to cutting. Uh, color? Oh, my God. You know, I, I love Go Well. So uh, it's a European color brand. They may not know about it, <laughs> but I love Co Go Well. But my background is fashion. I used to be a former model, so um, I'm all about changing the seasons with hair trends, and color is the most easiest way to do that. Awesome. Well, some of your beautiful models are behind us. Can you show us an example of your wonderful work? Melanie. Melanie has locks. Uh, turn around, Melanie. Chiffon type hairstyle, a roaring 20s type of uh, kind of pompadour. Turn down so they can check it out. Yes, this is Melanie. Chelsea. <laughs> I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> this is Chelsea. Chelsea, turn around for us. We have a custom color. We, d we did a strawberry blonde underneath and then kind of a plat platinum in the top. And then we did some highlights and low lights in the crown of her hair to give her a little texture and body. And Tarona. This is the epitome of black women, and this is called the Afro. And if you look at the top, it says pal. <laughs> That's my signature. Turn around, check them out. This is the origins of where black women started with their hair. I'm very pro-black, and I love natural hair. And I think that's about it for now for me. I'm tired. Hey, likewise. Well, thank you very much, Terry. And I look forward to, to seeing your stuff you on the show. For classic styles for having me and presenting me with the award. Congratulations thank on you. all your success. Bye-bye. Bye. Ebony, Timbo, and Kwanzaa. Could you guys tell us a little bit about your boutique and your style? Hi, yes, we're Runway Diva Boutique, and we specialize in all sizes of clothes from 0 to 3X. We do different styles. You can wear our clothes to work, church, uh, just even a soccer mom can wear the clothes. So we do different styles. We all accessories, anything you need, uh, boutique. Awesome. So, Ebony, can you tell us a little bit about what we should expect tonight? Well, you should expect a little bit of everything from black and white, um, leather to color to just, you'll just see everything on the runway. 
Awesome. So what inspired you guys to have this boutique and do your styling and your designing? Oh, we just love fashion. We always did as a kid. Our mother always made sure we looked nice. We get it from our parents. So, you know, we're blessed by the best. Awesome. Awesome. So what keeps you guys coming back to classic style? Uh, we just love the atmosphere. It's fun. It's exciting. And it's a good show. Awesome. Ebony, can you tell us where we can get in contact with you guys or see you guys' boutique? Yes, we're located at 2719 East 56th Street, and we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Can you tell us a little bit about your clothing that you have here? This is an all-purpose dress. It's fun, it's classy, it's nice, it's smooth, and it's for every shape and size of a woman. If you turn around the back, it has a little nice, little sexy, and little train. It's hot, and it's print, so who doesn't like print? Right. Love. What about the other? And this is a nice little leather skirt. It's a nice shape for body. And it hides all your little flaws that women don't like your little pouches. So it has a little ruffle around it. And then a cute little shirt that was a little split. And it droops in the back. So turn around portion. It's on the back. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you. You ladies look amazing tonight. You're welcome. The Classic Style Hair Show is comprised of three different categories. Hairstylists, musicians, and designers. Let's take a moment and get to know the musicians. Welcome to the shop. We are get you right. You probably be attached for the rest of your life. And if you pay attention, so you learn a lesson. If you stick with us, then I'm sure you get a blessing. Down by the peace, hope you if you know. Way above average, far from the norm. Had to make it happen because nobody ever saw me back in 1993 when you got the ball rolling. 20 years later, shop still growing, pot is still cutting, every day hustling. Gotta keep it clean when you were service to the public. And you can speak your mind of you button on the cussing. I'm here with Big Dave at Classic Style. Hi Dave, can you tell us about a little bit about your music? Uh, yeah, you know, my music, I, I, I do real rap, you know what I'm saying? It's all about what I think, you know what I mean, how I feel when I... The way I try to portray it, I try to approach each record different. I try to lead the listener with with something, you know what I mean? We call it putting some meat on their head, you know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot, I try to judge our music the same. You know, I, a lot of rappers, they talk about the glitz and glamour of the streets, but they don't talk about the bad side. And in the streets, anybody that ever been in the streets knows it's more bad than actual good, you know what I mean? So I try to teach them something, but I, I we rock out too. We have a ball, you know what I mean? Right, I can respect that. Nice. Okay, can you tell us what we'll expect tonight? You're performing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm rocking tonight with a uh, real cut above. Shout out to Potter Pete. You know, we're going to rock. We're going to turn it up. We got something real special cooked up, you know what I mean? I think the crowd going to be real surprised when it when it all unfolds. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to hearing that. Okay, so what keeps you coming back to Classic Style? I've heard this is not your first year here. Right, yeah, you know, I, I actually been part of it from the beginning, but it's, it's, it's the people, you know. It's like, a, it's a real positive event, but it's, it's a real tasteful event. Grown and sexy, a lot of sexy women walking around. I get to talk to you, you know, we, we here every year. That's how I go. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to your performance tonight and checking you out. And thank you very much. All right.